Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to review this viral thing that I saw on TikTok and this is called the lip coat and apparently this could make your lipstick last the whole day. It's actually a top coat for lipstick so you can use any of your lipstick and then just put this on top and it can make your lipstick last the whole day. So as you can tell, I don't have any lipstick on and I am going to put on a red lipstick just so we can really see if there's any smudging, like if any color has been removed, it can be easily seen. It's a bright color so you can see any changes with it. And this is my actually line if you want a beautiful red lipstick on yourself. I'll be putting the link down below and this is my red liquid lipstick. It's called Love Bite. So I'm going to put this on and this is a good color because it's not too blue and it's not too yellow. So it suits a lot of skin tone. So they said to put your lipstick on. I have a pimple right here. Can you see it? Sorry. So if my lipstick looks kind of wobbly, it's that pimple. Sorry about that. So I have my lipstick on. The next step would be blot use a tissue to blot away excess so blot your excess lipstick i'm going to blot again just to make sure now it's kind of matte and fairly dry so coat brush quick drying lip coat over the slightly beyond lipstick oh you're supposed to use a beyond lipstick i guess set keep lipstick apart while lip coat sets okay so you're supposed to apply this on top of your lipstick but you have to make sure that your lips are apart, maybe so that it can dry separately and not stick together. So I am planning to use this on my client just in case this really works because this would be perfect for bridal. So I'm going to put it on my tray and then I'm just going to use my brush, my own brush. But this is how it looks like. And it has this kind of like a nail polish brush with it. So I'm going to put a few drops on my tray. I put two drops. It's actually a lash tray. So I put two drops there. I'm gonna use my brush to get the product. Well, the smell is super strong. It smells like acetone, kind of. Er, uh, heels cold. It kind of stings with just a little. The thing that I hate the most is the smell. It smells like a strong alcohol. Kind of like a nail polish too. Like the nail polish remover. It really dried quickly. I thought I'm supposed to. Okay, last needle. I heard ah. Okay, I'm gonna keep a little heart and hang it. Okay, it's dry now. It's very dry now. Let's do the transfer test. There's a little transfer but here. I put it on the edges just to make sure. has a lot of alcohol. It has alcohol, Dinette, Butyl, Isoprofil, Benzyl alcohol. So many alcohol in this. That's why it really stings. Well, it stings a little, but like the smell, like you can really smell the alcohol. But, okay, it doesn't, there's no transfer anymore. I thought that it's gonna make my lips feel dry, but it just feels matte, but it's comfortable. It doesn't have that tightening feeling. So I'm going to eat, I'm going to drink, I'm going to do a lot of things today. So I'm going to update you on the 4th hour and on the 8th hour to see if 
this really works. I'm actually very hopeful. I'm also going to wear my mask at around 2 p.m. So I'm going to also update you if it transfer on my mask. So I'll update you in a bit. So fourth hour update, I had hot peppermint tea in the afternoon. And then I had a yogurt drink for a snack. And then I had salmon and rice for lunch. I feel like this video is turning into what I ate in a day. But the lipstick held pretty well except for my middle upper lip. So I'm getting my daughter now and I'm wearing a mask. Let's pat it and see if there would be transfer. So there's a little like a tad bit of transfer but just super little it's mostly my makeup so we'll say that it's transfer proof but just a little I, I think also because when you're putting the lip coat on top it doesn't really coat everything like you'll miss something so you could have that transfer unless you really put a lot of the lip coat on your lips which i really don't advise because it's heavy in alcohol but like that amount of transfer is really fine by me okay eight hour update on the lipstick i had iced tea and if i like really look at it closely like in between the gaps there's no more lipstick but it's very comfortable on and it doesn't feel drying at all and that's the only like missing parts on my lipstick like this heart over here hey doll so i'm back and it's now currently 9 p.m and this is how my lips look like. I'm gonna go closer. It's a little dry now. And you see that this part has not a lot of lipstick. And like through the lights, you can really see that in between my lips, there's no more lipstick. Overall, I think that I will give this lip coat a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I think overall, it really did well on my lips. I know that at the end of the day, my lips weren't the best. The lower lip doesn't have a lot of the lipstick anymore. I have to give it to the lip coat because what I ate was very oily and greasy. I ate Filipino food. I had pancit, which is noodles that is very oily. And I also had sisig, which is also very oily. So... We all know that oil can remove makeup. Oil for my food really contributed on removing the lip product. And also when I was eating, I remember that I wasn't just dabbing my lips, I was actually like wiping it. And so the product is removed, but not until that time. But I ate rice and salmon during lunch and my lipstick was still okay. So if you're really not going to eat very, very oily foods, then I think you'll still be fine with the lip coat. Yeah, so I think that this product is effective in keeping your product on the lips longer. I also like that I don't have to retouch my lips when I put on my mask because sometimes when I have a lip product on and then I put on my mask, the moment I remove it, I have to reapply because most of the products are on my mask. So I don't have to worry about it when I use this product. So overall, I think that I would actually recommend this to people who wanted to make their lip product last longer. Just be cautious when using this. Like dab your lips instead of wiping. Don't eat too much of the oily foods that can really remove the product. But I think that this would really help in the longevity of your lip product. So try it out. So that's it. That's the end of my review with this product. Thank you so much Dolls again for watching. I hope that you find this video helpful and if you did, please don't forget to like my video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll always be updated once a new video is out. Thank you so much again for watching.